Hello, this is Samantha again with the DevOps Library. We're glad you found yourself here. Today we're going to talk about salt, windows, and chocolatey, all in one episode. If you're unfamiliar with the salt stack, you may want to watch our earlier episodes. Today we're going to get started with one salt master named Salt, and a fresh server, 2012, R2 server, named WinMinion. We already have the salt master set up, so now we just need to install the Minion service on our Windows server. First, download the installation files from the Salt Stack website. We'll use the GUI to install the service, but you can always do a silent install using slash s slash master equals name of master slash minion name equals name of minion. Now, during the install, we'll make sure that the minion can resolve the host name for the Salt Master. When naming the minion, we generally just use the host name, but feel free to use whatever you'd like. Well, that was easy, so now let's just switch to our salt master. All we need to do now is accept the cert using salt key dash A. Now we're all set. You can now begin running commands on your Windows Minion using salt. Let's try that. Run salt star test dot ping. You should see win minion return true. If it doesn't, run the command one more time. Sometimes it takes a little too long on the very first run. Now let's check out some of the grains available. Do a salt star grains dot items. You can use any of these items when targeting a server with salt. So let's say you have a bunch of Windows and Linux salt minions, but you only want to run a command on the 2012 VMs. All you would need to run is salt dash g os release colon 2012 server command dot run followed by the name of the command. Now what if the command you're wanting to run is PowerShell, not batch? Well, then you would just run salt star command dot run, the name of the command, followed by shell PowerShell. You can do that with a ton of languages, by the way, pretty much any shell that you'd like. Well, that was easy. Now let's try adding a little chocolatey to the mix. Chocolatey is to Windows what apt-get is to Ubuntu. It's a wonderful package manager that makes installing new software on Windows extremely easy. It's also really easy to install, and it combines really well with configuration management tools. Okay, let's go ahead and install it now through Salt. First, let's visit chocolatey.org to find the install command. Next, let's use Salt to run it in PowerShell on our Windows Minion. Salt star command dot run followed by the download string and shell PowerShell. That's it. Chocolatey is now installed. If we had 100 Windows Minions, it would now be installed on all 100. Pretty cool. Now it's time to call Chocolatey. Think of a Windows package that you like and search for it on the Chocolatey repository. The odds are extremely high that a package has already been made. We'll search for Sublime because it's one of our favorite editors on Windows. There it is, Sublime Text 3. And if you look, you can see that for installing a package with Chocolatey, all that you have to do is call Choco install, then the name of the package. We could just run Choco install Sublime Text 3 directly on our Windows box, but let's pretend we have a few hundred minions. So let's run salt star command dot run choco install sublime text 3 followed by shell powershell that's it no matter how many windows minions we have they would now all have sublime text installed now while you probably aren't going to be comfortable just running commands on all of your production servers simultaneously it's very easy to set up a salt state sls file that has all of the packages you want installed once you've tested it on your dev servers, then you can roll it out to your production servers doing just a salt state dot high state. Well, that's plenty for today. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to like all of our videos if they've been helpful to you. And also, in the comments, please let us know what else you'd like to see. Have a great day. Bye-bye.